The MS-60 can connect to SA in a number of ways. You can use a Bluetooth connection, you can use a cable connection, and you can also use a wireless connection. And oftentimes a wireless signal is the easiest way to connect, but it does take a little bit of configuration on the instrument side, and I wanted to show you that right now. So the first thing you want to do is actually close Captivate and bring up the Windows control. And you do that by holding the function key and pressing the Windows button. And I've got the wireless connection up already, but let me just close that for you so you see where we get from start. So basically you have a Windows computer here and you want to go to the start menu, go to settings, network and dial up connections and verify that this TIWLNAPI1 network connection is there. That connection is the one that you use to connect to the network. And when that's enabled, you should be able to directly access it from this little connection uh, tool in the task manager. So just double click on that to bring up the dialogue. And I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Basically, you have wireless information in there that's saved. So you don't want to go directly from the IP information. You want to go to the wireless information page. And there, you want to double check that you are actually connected to the network that you intended to connect to. So in order to do that, simply select that network from the list and press connect. And as soon as you connect, you'll see it says connected to the network and you should have good signal strength. From there, you can go back to the IP and verify that your IP is set. And in my case, it's the same IP as I had before. So oftentimes it won't change, but it's available and you should be good to go. So you can now bring up the Captivate program. So if I bring that up, it's just an application in the Windows tray. Um, you may want to double check the network connection settings in Captivate. So let's do that. If you go to Settings, Connections, All Other Connections, you'll get to the connection settings. And there are two things that you want to verify. SA uses both the GSI output settings and the Geocom settings. So let's go to the GSI output and make sure, if you go under edit, that this output GSI data to device checkbox is checked. That's important for controlling the instrument. And you also want the GSI format to be GSI 16 polar. So as soon as that's set, you can say, okay, go to the Geocom settings and hit edit, and you'll see it's got uh, the wireless LAN connection. This is where you change it if you were using Bluetooth or a cable connection, but in this case, we want Wi-Fi. And you also have direct access if you hit the control button to getting the IP address. So that's the IP address that you will enter in SA when you go to connect. So now let's go back and connect within SA. Okay, let's look at the connection process from the SA side of things. So the first thing you want to do is add an instrument. Let's go to the Instrument tab and press Add. And this dialog, which popped up over there, will uh, give you access to the instruments that are available. And if you haven't connected before, it may not be in the list. And what you can do is just simply go to the, all the instruments, go to Toto Stations and the MS-60. And the MS-60 is actually going to work for any of the Nova devices. So go ahead and add that, the TS or the MS-60. And when you add it, what you've done is add an instrument placement. This is basically a station move. So you now have a model where the instrument measurements can be attached. And to connect to the instrument, hit the connect button, which will bring up the Theodolite Manager. And this seems a little bit redundant, but the Theodolite Manager allows you to control multiple instruments at one time, which can be useful for Theodolite applications. So set new instrument setup, add, and this will look to see if there is a instrument model within SA that you can connect to. So oftentimes there will be more than one, but in this case I just have a single model, so you can connect to that. And the COM port settings, um, if you were using a Bluetooth connection, would be a COM port. But in this case, we are using a TCP connection. And now the next step is to enter that IP address. So I'm going to enter that here, which is the IP address that we looked at directly on the scope, and press connect. And it should immediately connect. If it doesn't, then you know that there's probably some sort of network connection issue. So the beam state should turn green and you should get this connection. You may also see the full interface, which would look like this. And sometimes that interface is even gone. You can still connect and say control panel to bring it back up. So this is the connection 
um, to the instrument and the control that you would use to actually take measurements. And that's what I wanted to show you.